Six allegations of a cover up and it's taken nearly a year and a half for the state to finally charge a corrections officer in a deadly prison shooting. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears explains why some say this is only half a cup of justice. November 2014, two handcuffed inmates in a secured unit called the hole get into a fight at High Desert State Prison. A guard fires multiple rounds to break it up. Inmate Andrew Aravalo is seriously wounded. Inmate Carlos Perez is killed. Uh, Carlos's mother, Mrs. Perez, was was very concerned that there would never be that sense of justice in the case. So. Today, the Nevada Attorney General filed this criminal complaint against former correctional officer trainee Reynaldo J. Ramos, charging him with reckless disregard and involuntary manslaughter for killing Perez, who was shot in the chest, neck, and head. Why did uh, it take this long for these kind of distilled charges to come down. The charges come just one week after internal prison reports went public, blaming two other corrections officers for failing to follow safety procedures, failing to break up the fight, and bringing negative media attention on the Department of Corrections. There is no mention in the report of trainee Ramos. It's almost like a half a cup of justice at this point. And for only half of the victims, Aravalo was injured by the same gun in the same incident, but no one is being held criminally responsible for shooting him. And this gives NDOC, this gives the AG's office uh, almost a scapegoat in COT Ramos. They've charged him with low-level felonies, and they've charged the lowest person on the totem pole. They've charged the trainee. And they're attempting to remove the blame from all the higher-ups and from anyone else. Contact 13 went to Ramos's apartment after neither he nor his lawyer returned our calls. The voices inside the apartment quickly quieted when we rang the bell. It's Darcy Spears from Channel 13. Mr. Ramos, I'd like to ask you about the criminal charges filed against you today. Can you please come to the door? No answer and no response. Just like the Department of Corrections, they wouldn't give us photos of the corrections officer or make any comment about the charges. Ramos has not been arrested. Instead, he'll be summoned to appear in court sometime in the next two weeks. He faces two to nine years in prison if he's convicted. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.